Psalm 92. A song, a song for the Sabbath day. It is good to praise the Lord and make music to your name, O Most High. Proclaiming your love in the morning and your faithfulness at night. To the music of the ten-stringed lyre and the melody of the harp. For you make me glad by your deeds, Lord. I sing for joy at what your hands have done. How great are your works, Lord. How profound your thoughts. Senseless people do not know. Fools do not understand. That though the wicked spring up like grass and all evildoers flourish, they will be destroyed forever. But you, Lord, are forever exalted. For surely your enemies, Lord, surely your enemies will perish. All evildoers will be scattered. You have exalted my horn like that of a wild ox. Fine oils have been poured on me. My eyes have seen the defeat of my adversaries. My ears have heard the rout of my wicked foes. The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. They will still bear fruit in old age. They will stay fresh and green. Proclaiming, the Lord is upright. He is my rock and there is no wickedness in him. Psalm 92 A psalm, a song for the Sabbath day. You are tuned to the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast, where we stand for God's truth, not man's traditions, and we bring you straight Bible truth for these last days. The WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast is a virtual outreach ministry of Sacrificial Lamb Ministries. We are outreach driven. Happy Sabbath, friend, and welcome to another presentation of Sunset Praise on this Friday, April 21st, 2023. Sunset Praise is when we come together and we praise the Lord. We thank Him for what He has done for us throughout this week. It is in Him that we live, move, and have our being. We praise Him, we honor Him for what He has done and for what He uh, continues to do in our lives. He has brought us to another Holy Sabbath and Sunset Praise is when we not only thank the Lord for what he has done for us throughout the week, he has brought us to this Holy Sabbath day, but we come together around sunset every Friday to usher in God's Holy Sabbath day. How has God blessed you this week? What has God brought you through that you did not expect to make it through? We give all the praise glory, and honor to our God. I have just read for you, as always, from Psalm 92, a psalm, a song for the Sabbath day. And I want to highlight verses 12 and 14 and 15. In verse 12, I'll read it again. Verse 12 says, The righteous will flourish like a palm tree. They will grow like a cedar of Lebanon. And ever since we started Sunset Praise, I have been commenting on what does the cedar of Lebanon mean for the Christian? How are we as Christians supposed to stand firm like a cedar of Lebanon? But here is an interesting fact about the cedar of Lebanon. What is unique about the cedar of Lebanon? 
Well, cedars were the largest trees known to the ancient, the ancient Israelites. Although cedars grew throughout the northern half of Israel, the largest forests were, well, were along the seacoast in Lebanon. Both David and Solomon bought massive quantities of Lebanon cedars for building projects. You can read 2 Samuel 5 and 11, 1 Chronicles 22 and 4, as well as 1 Kings 5, 1 through 11. I said I wanted to also look at verses 14 and 15. 14 and 15 say, They will still bear fruit in old age, and they will stay fresh and green. Verse 15, proclaiming, the Lord is upright. He is my rock, and there is no wickedness in him. So what kind of fruit can we bear in old age? Well, like a tree that continues to bear fruit, elderly people are valuable and useful to God. Shortly before his death at age 120 or age 120, Moses' eyes were not weak nor his strength gone. You can read uh, Deuteronomy 34 and 7. Now, this verse doesn't mean that a person stays forever youthful, but that he or she stays useful and faithful to God. So I just wanted to take an extra moment to shed some light on those verses. Again, concerning verses 12, 14, and 15. In this presentation of Sunset Praise, I wanted to highlight a quote or a um, a part of Steps to Christ from Ellen G. White. I wanted to focus on a few lines from her Steps to Christ. And I want to take a look at Christian character. I want to focus on Christian character in this episode. Again, I'm going to be reading from Steps to Christ, page 170, starting at paragraph, I'm sorry, uh, page 171, starting at paragraph one. Again, this concerns Christian character. She says, the character of the Christian is shown by his daily life. Said Christ, every good tree bringeth forth good fruit, but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit. And that comes from Matthew 7 and 17. Our Savior compares himself to a vine, of which his followers are the branches. He plainly declares that all who would be his disciples must bring forth fruit. And then he shows how they may become fruitful branches. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine, no more can ye, except ye abide in me. That is John 15 and 4. Friend, are we praying? Are we seeking the Lord to help us to bear good fruit? Are we representatives of of Christ as we should be? Friend, uh, just like the cedar of Lebanon, we need to stand firm in the truth, in the word, in Christ. We must ask the Holy Spirit to fill us so that we will be able to stand like a cedar in, in Lebanon amidst any of the turmoil, trials, and tribulations that we go through, no matter how many times Satan tries to knock us down, tries to make us say and do things that are not Christ-like, we must ask the Holy Spirit continually to help us to bring forth good fruit, to help us to be branches 
of the true vine, that is Jesus Christ. Let us pray. Loving Father, thank you so much for what you have done for us throughout this week. We come together once again to worship you in spirit and in truth, to lift your name up and to exalt you as the author and finisher of our faith. Thank you so much for what you have done for us this week, for bringing us through what we didn't think we were going to be able to get through, that we're able to stand, we're able to come together for another sunset praise. We welcome your Holy Sabbath day once again. We're so thankful that we are able to come together for another Sabbath. This is holy time that you have set aside for us to spend with you. May everything that we do and say this Sabbath be to your name, honor, and glory. Fill us with your Holy Spirit that we may bear good fruit, that we may be able to stand as cedars of Lebanon. Help us to reflect your character in all that we say and all that we do. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Friend, thank you so much for joining me for another edition of Sunset Praise. We come together by God's grace every Friday around sunset to thank the Lord for what he has done for us this week and to usher in to welcome another Holy Sabbath day. If this is your first time listening to Sunset Praise, if this is your first time tuning in to the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast, we pray that this will not be your last time. We pray that you will uh, continue to stay plugged in to the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast. Our episodes are recorded and available for your listening 24-7, 365. I am your host, Vince Wilson, founding pastor and teacher at Sacrificial Lamb Ministries. And you are tuned to the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast, where we stand for God's truth, not man's traditions, and we bring you straight Bible truth for these last days. The WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast is a virtual outreach ministry of Sacrificial Lamb Ministries. We are outreach driven. Until we meet again, by God's grace, may the Lord bless you, may the Lord keep you, may his face shine upon you, and join us once again for another episode, for another presentation of Sunset Praise right here on the WSLM Radio Ministry Podcast. Be blessed and take care.